spiritual person, you should be mindful of every last day of the month and the beginning of a new month. So today I'll be teaching us on how to end this month, which is May, perfectly and also how to prepare ourselves into the month of July. Okay, what ritual you'll be doing on this last day and the ritual you'll be doing on the first day of the month of June. Okay, so if you're interested, you want to know how you can do this, then you have to stay with me to the end of this video. Welcome back into our channel. It's Monday. God bless you for always returning back to watch my videos. Those of you who keep coming back, yes, I appreciate you so much. God bless you real good. I am grateful for all you do for me. God bless you. Thank you for your support, all right? For my first time viewers, you'll see my face for the very first time. My name is Mandy, okay? Married with three lovely kids. I'm from Enugu State by um, birth, but by marriage, Imo State, okay? So you're welcome to this great family, but for you to be part of us, you have to hit that subscribe button. Please hit it. It's a free button. It's, you're not paying for it. Hit it, then turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload a content like this, you will be the first to be notified, okay? Then also like my videos. Hit that like button. You don't pay for it. Share my videos. You don't pay for it. Do this for me and I'll be glad. God bless you and welcome to this great family. You will not be left out, okay? So let's dive in into today's video. I want to talk about um, the ritual of 31st and 1st of uh, June, okay? Like a lot of us um, had some kind of challenges in this month of uh, May, which we do not want to encounter anymore in the month of Ju June, okay? This is May ending today and June coming up tomorrow. So I want to teach us what you can do to prepare yourself, okay, to stay positive in the upcoming months and also to end this one, to banish whatever negative um, challenge you have encountered in the month of May so that you know what to do to banish it out of your life and how to prepare yourself ahead of the month of June, okay? Now, before we go into that, I would like to talk about um, being positive. Yes, when you're positive in anything you do, you will get your result very easily. Now, when you have this thought in your mind, that this thing uh, they are always talking about, I've done this, I have done that, and there is no result, I want you to know that even if you do the one I am going to teach you today, you might not have result because what? You already have doubt. You already have this thought in your mind that all the ones I've been doing, none of them has been working for me, okay? So for you to do what? To achieve your goals and results, and for you to grab what the universe has kept for you, you have to stay what? Positive. You have to be positive. You have to forget about all the rituals you have done that has not worked for you. If it has not worked for you, you have to go for consultation. If you have tried lots and lots of rituals and none of them is working, you have to go for consultation. You have to go for cleansing. Yes, and that is why I talk about cleansing. Very important in our life. As you go out daily, you pick up energies from people both negative and positive energies, okay? The energy you went out with as you go out daily is not the energy you come back with. And that's why it's advisable for us to always do what? Cleanse ourselves. When you cleanse our, uh, yourself, you remove all those negative auras you have attracted from different people. Remember, as human, you attend to your mental, you could pick up emotions, energies from people, okay? So it is very, very important you always cleanse yourself. Apart from staying positive, thinking positive, you have to cleanse yourself, okay? Then you have faith. The next thing is faith, okay? You need to put your faith, action, uh, put your faith in action. When you do not have faith, it is impossible to even please yourself. Talk more of God. You can't even please yourself when you don't have faith. Talk more of God. So for you to achieve whatever you need in this new month, in this upcoming uh, month, you need to do what? Have faith that whatever I ask you to do, when you do it, it will work perfectly for you. Okay, without talking much, the ritual you are going to carry out today that is the 31st of the month of May is you are going to get a bell leaf, okay? Get a bell leaf. 
we all know what is bay leaf if you don't know what is bay leaf just scroll through the channel you will see um some of the videos on bay leaf uh, yes i don't have it today at home so you can just get it from the market i'll get mine when i go out now so you just get it and do what you um get your pen preferably black pen because you're going to do banishing okay you get a black pen then you begin to write everything you don't want to see if in this month of may you experience hardship you're going to write it there if this month of may you experience disappointment you write it there if this month of may you experience failure setback you write it there if you experience anything like close to success syndrome you write it there so after writing everything remember you're using a black pen for banishing okay after writing it there you're going to speak a word you're going to hold it and then begin to speak that as you have written this on this bay leaf okay this um problems in your life that you speak to it right now that as you burn this bay leaf you burn it out of your life you burn these issues these challenges the situation that looks impossible you burn them out of your life okay then just pray the way your heart leads you your mind tells you then after praying the next thing you're going to do is to burn it get a lighter and burn it gather the ashes take it outside and blow it into the air and the universe so for the new month ritual you're going to get me a coconut get me original honey undiluted honey please when you reuse honey that is not original it won't work okay get original honey and you get your coconut then when you get the coconut you open it from one of the eyes remember i've told us in this channel we have three eyes of the coconut so open one of the eyes get a white bucket get a white bucket okay pour in the water the juice uh, the water extract from the coconut all right pour it into the bowl when you pour it into the bowl you get your honey put in at least seven all right so you add seven spoons of uh, honey into the bowl of um water coconut water all right then you add um your sugar you're going to add sugar add four cubes of sugar into it okay now when you get these three items together all right then you begin to pray you are going to tell God what you want to see in the month of May, in the month of June, I mean, yes. Tell God what exactly you want to see in the month of June. Declare everything that you want to see. Remember, you are speaking, you are not begging, you are praying with authority, okay? You are going to declare that this month of June, nothing but favor is your portion, nothing but breakthrough, nothing but open doors. Those who forgot you, they will remember you. You understand? Declare it the way you want to see it. And after declaring it, then carry those mixture. Wash your head and your face. Okay? Wash your head and your face. Then the remaining one, use it to wash your feet. Use it to wash your feet. As you wash your feet, you declare, as this honey is sweet and cannot be resisted by any man, as sugar is sweet, as coconut water is mystery, so shall you be a mystery to the so shall you be a mystery to the kind of blessing that will come your way, that will enter your life in this month of June. Okay, declare it as you want to see it and have faith that this month you are entering will be better than the previous month okay it is very simple yet it needs work it needs faith it needs your belief okay so do this and enter into the month of june gloriously all right see you in my next video bye